conductor plate, a magnet, and a continuity test. For reference, continuity just means that when we complete the circuit, it just means that those two wires are connected to each other. Now here we have a magnetically controlled switch, or aka a reed switch. So we are using a magnet to simulate what's going on in here when we press this switch. So we're going to press it right now, and it's going to do the exact same thing. Magnet, no circuit, switch depressed, no circuit. This is the circuit that I was showing you in the last scene. Uh, notice we have the little button I was pressing to cut the continuity. These were the lead points I was testing. So essentially how this works is this little permanent magnet right here um, will pass by the read switch and decide whether or not the circuit is complete or broken. And I was demonstrating that by putting a magnet right on top of this area right here um, in order to break the continuity here as well. Now, notice the spring-loaded uh, button causes the continuity to exist by default. So essentially the, the gear selector you use when you switch gears, there does exist a little component here which rubs it, which pushes against this button and suppresses it Reverse. when you are in fact in neutral park and neutral. All other times Drive. this button is out the way it is and the circuit is complete. Given that continuity within the circuit needs to exist in order to suppress your starter relay, there should be a relatively easy way to test this without having to pull apart your transmission. I'll be adding more information as I study the circuitry a little bit better. I will also note this is quite a unique issue. So if you are having starter issues, there's probably about five or six other things that you want to look at first. The specific issue only applies if you, if your key gets recognized, you put the key in and it makes that root sound, and your key can turn. If neither of those conditions are met, don't even think about uh, going down this rabbit hole. Soon I'll be putting together a complete video showing you all the different steps, maybe about a dozen or so different steps you can do to troubleshoot even the most complex of no starter issues. So go ahead and look out for that when it shows up. All right. And as always, keep your own money, fix your own shit.